Now, if you're anything like me, no matter how many thousands of cool retro games you've got available, you're probably going to come back to the same five to ten games on a regular basis. But up till now, I've not really found an easy way to store my list of favourite games on my Pandora 3D Plus retro console. But I think I may finally have found a way. So stick around and let's see if I've got this right. Okay guys, I've got a little confession to make first of all. <laughs> is that this is actually not my idea or knowledge. This has actually come from somebody called Carlo Castronovo who left me a comment on one of my previous videos reviewing this product saying, tip, go to setting, then enter game settings. You should be able to create a game's favorite list. Okay, so Carlo, thank you so much. A for watching and B for this great tip. I'm going to give it a go now. And uh, here we go. So we've landed on the home screen. This is what you get once you've turned it on and it's finished its initial video. Uh, and what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to do exactly what Carlo suggested. And I'm going to press the settings button on the back of the uh, unit, first of all. Then I'm going to scroll down to enter game settings. Here we go going to select that and here wow look at this there is an edit favorite list and let's see so select that okay takes a few seconds and then okay so on the right hand side we've got game settings select game turn page favorite unfavorite unfavorite all and cancel now it doesn't look like there's any way to actually search so I think it is going to be a bit of a laborious task, unfortunately, to go through and find the games that I want to favourite. So that it could be slightly better. If only it had a search function, it would be better. But it's better than nothing because, as I say, before Carlo's tip, I didn't think that I could create a favourites list at all. So this is progress. Tell you what I'm going to do. To save me some time, I'm just going to find out which list my recently played is on. So let's just go back a step with, with button D. Okay, it's going to take me forever if I just literally scroll through all the screens. So I think the easiest thing to do is just to go back to the recent tab and to look at the games that I played recently and work out where which numbers they are etc so okay so what i've done is i've actually snipped um i've done i've used a snipping tool to uh, snip that list of recent games okay and i'm going to go back to the settings now if i press the button on the back of the machine okay and i'm going to scroll down and i'm going to go enter game settings And I'm going to go edit favorite list. Takes a couple of seconds. Each game has a number, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll up to number 13, which is Rid Racer 2. And I'm going to add that to as one of my favorites. Okay, so now I select A. And that should give me a favorite. There we go. So now I've got a little heart to show that that's a favorite, which is cool. Now, the interesting thing is, since I selected a uh, heart for Ridge Racer, what it's done is it's actually put that as the number one game. So it's changed its number from being 13 to being number one, which is quite interesting, actually. So let me go back to Street Fighter, which is number 44. Gone a bit too far. And I'm going to select Street Fighter with the A. Takes a sweet time. And now Street Fighter is number one and Ridge Racer is number two. So they've actually changed their positions again, which is, uh, which is interesting. Okay, I think I see how this is working now. So when it comes to the home screen, basically it's just going to list my favorites top, which is really cool. So that's actually quite, uh, quite a good little development that. So thank you again, Carlo, for the tip. That's awesome. Uh, let's go to, uh, what are we on next? This could take some time. <laughs> uh, the next one is, ooh, 
1,681 <laughs> Galaxian. Oh my gosh. Right. Uh, let's see. Can I speed this up a little bit? I'm going to the side now. Just to let's just whack through these. Just going to the right with my joystick pretty rapidly. Oh my word, this is taking some time, but it will be worth it. It will be worth it. Okay. So actually, yeah, the next one is 1126, which is Robocop. Okay, let's do that. Nearly there, guys. <laughs> I know this is so exciting watching me scroll through a lot of games, uh, but Robocop, here we go. One thousand one hundred and twenty six. Now, I guess it will have changed number slightly because of the effect of putting my those other two games, changing the number of those is also going to change the number of Robocop. But I'm hoping that it's not going to be massively so. No, it is still one thousand one hundred and twenty six. So that's good. So I'm going to press A to favorite that. And it does take a moment or two, but the heart should pop up now. That's great. Now, what would have been nice if is if it stayed on the Robocop screen, <laughs> because I would have liked to have also favorited Robocop 2, because that's also a good game, uh, which, okay, I'm going to do that now. Oh, my word. This does take a while. Oh, for a search function. That is what would help here. It is only so quickly that this can be. Okay, coming up to Robocop 2, getting there now, 1,127 or something like that. Yeah, here we go. So that's favourite Robocop 2 as well, because that's another good one. You're getting the idea here. Um, I'm going to do one more, and then let's just have a look back at the main menu again. So let's do Super Mario Brothers, which is 2,000 and 2,652. I just don't get why you have to go to a separate menu in the settings, why there isn't just a favorite function when you're on the actual main menu. That would be easier, but fine. By the way, if you do want to buy one of these yourself, I imagine you probably got one of these anyway if you're watching this video, but there is a link to this product in the Amazon. By the way, if you, by the way, there is an Amazon link to the product below in the description. I am sure you probably got one yourself. You certainly wouldn't be watching by this point if you hadn't. Yeah, this is pretty tedious, I've got to say, like, it, having either a search function in this bit or having a... or making it part of the main list, so you just have a favourite option whenever you select a game, would be a lot better. 
but it's fine. Once I've added it, it will save me some time, I guess. It's all about investing the time now to save time later. Is how I'm justifying this. I mean, is it going to be faster if I just hold the button? Hold. Is it going to be faster if I just hold the joystick down? Let's see. Mm, it's debatable. I'm not sure. Okay, so it's two thousand. 652. I think this is possibly quicker. Must be coming up to it now. 2,200, 2,652. So still got a little way to go yet. Okay, so that's a little tip. Actually hold the joystick down while you're doing it. We'll get you there quicker. Rather than going to the side. Okay, surely we're nearly there now. 2,652 to add Mario. Here we go, Super Mario Brothers. So I'm going to favourite that one as well. And indeed, it's brought it to the top again, which is very cool. Okay. So that seems to have done the job now. So if I now go back to the main menu by pressing the D button, it should take a few seconds before it just goes back to the previous menu. I have pressed, the, no, I haven't pressed the D button. I've pressed the F button. Okay, cool. So we're going back and let's go to what I imagine happens now is if I go back to the top and go to all, getting this black screen again. Okay. And then, yeah, cool. So now when I land on the home screen, it's just gonna bring this up. Uh, so my favourites appear first. So that's a pretty cool, that is good. The end result, the outcome, I'm, I'm pleased with that. That's better than it was before. It is a little bit fiddly. It took longer than I would have liked, but it's a function that I didn't realise existed. So thank you very much, Carlo. I tell you what, just to, just to double check that it definitely, definitely does work, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn the machine off and see if uh, having done all that, it then remembers my choices. Okay, it's turning back on again. In a second, you should be able to see the, what I can see. Okay, just waiting for it to go to the home screen. There we go. Yeah, and it has. It's remembered. So, yeah, there we go. Thanks once again to Carlo. Really, really good tip. Um, and I hope you enjoyed that little video. And I hope you got value. And I hope you got value out of that video. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. It helps to grow the channel. And I will see you in the next one. Thank you.